In this video, I'm going to show you the Media Explorer in Reaper. Now this is part two of the Media Explorer. And we could also loop or auditioning the sounds. Let's choose a folder right here with some drum loops. If I choose this option right here, the file's gonna loop when we audition it. But we could always stop it by hitting the left arrow and restarting it with the right arrow. Now by default, we hear in the sound through our main speakers, which you can see right here with the routing button. It's going out, output left and output right. We could choose different outputs over here, but we could also preview it through tracks. So let's say I want to hear it in context. Let's create a new track. Let's go to the effects on that track. And let's add a reverb, which looks like this. So now we have reverb on this track. So with this track selected, we can click on the routing button and choose to hear or addition our sounds through that track so we can hear it in context. So if I choose it, let's go back to our kicks. If I hear a sound, we could hear it has reverb on it, which is playing through this track. So it's a great way of hearing our samples or loops in context. Playing through the track, we're going to import it to. Now right down over here is the volume we can audition our sounds. So if we bring it down, we hear the sounds quieter. Or louder. But by default, if we import them, it's not going to bring this volume into it. So if I bring this down, and drag this file down here and drop it, the file's volume is zero. It hasn't changed to the addition volume. If you want that, just right click over here, go down here to options and choose apply preview volume to inserted media item. This is off by default, but if we choose it and adjust the audition volume and bring the sound in, we can see it adjusts the volume of that sound based on the volume we changed over here. But again, this is off by default. So in this folder, I have some drum loops. And if I drag them in, they're going to drag in based on their own tempo. So if I drag it in and drop it right here, we can see that the tempo doesn't match our project. It's way off. Now we could stretch it by holding down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and dragging it like this. Now it matches the project, but we could do this before we import it at all. We could choose these options up here, which is going to match the tempo to the project. So if I choose this option and listen to the loop, now we're hearing it at the project tempo. Well, this one. They're playing back at the project tempo, which we could adjust by doubling it or cutting the tempo in half. But they're still locked to the project tempo. Once we turn this off, now they're independent again. So there's a few different ways we can import our files using the Media Explorer. Like I showed you, we could drag it and drop it below the tracks over here, and that adds it like this. Or we could drag it down here and just place it on the bar we want, bar one or bar two, and that's still going to create a new track. Or we could import it to an already created track. Let's create a new track by double clicking over here. Now we could drag this file and drop it on this track. Again, either here or here or anywhere we want. 
And we can see by default, the file we drop is going to auto name the track. Before, it was unnamed. And after, it changes the name to the name of that file. It's pretty handy. So this topic is pretty long. So I've divided it into three parts. Check out part three of the Media Explorer next. So that's pretty much it. That's the Media Explorer in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.